Hello everyone and welcome back to the city stand. It has been a long wait to get back to this. Obviously, we've come back with some new graphics and everything. If you haven't watched the video that I've just posted earlier today, go and watch it. The link will be in the description. It's also on the YouTube channel anyway. So go and go and watch that. We thought we'd come here today. It's the first video of like the new season that we're going to be doing um, with so with the team lineup that we th well that I think if I was Brendan I'd put out and with some news about West Fafana and I think we might be able to get some news on the Perez because the team's interested in signing him as well. But we'll get on to West Fafana because as you can see on the side, four bids was rejected, 75 million was rejected, Leicester wanted 80 million for him. And now according to Fabrizio Romano, uh, Chelsea and Leicester are now on the verge of reaching a full agreement on West Fafana. Earlier today there was talks going on between the two clubs. Um, a new bid has been submitted today, following Chelsea's plan to call um, it to call it off on Thursday. Um, but according to um, one of our sources, uh, Chelsea has accepted the bid for West Farner is 82.5 million pound plus bonuses. So what we've got here, um, it could be 70 million pound plus bonuses. There's not been an exact figure come out yet on what it is. Um, we're looking between 80 million and 70 million uh, plus add-ons and bonuses uh, for our defender. Um, if if they do sell him, um, which I think they might, who are we going to get in uh, replacement for um, for West Fafana? Because you've got your captain Evans and your Soyuncu, um that I think is the closest to getting to his standard, um, but. I don't think we've got a player at the minute that could that could actually do what West Fafana did, and especially with so much how we put into so much um, after he broke his leg in pre-season against um, well, what was the team? I can't remember the team, but I, I was there for that night, and it was a it wasn't a nice night to um, watch football, especially. Where I was sat smack in front of where it happened, but um, with how the club helped him throughout it and um, to basically repay him in that sort of way, it's just it's just disrespectful, really. It's been like they've took all their time and effort into helping him, and they've just thrown it back in his face. Um, but he's wanted to leave for quite a while. Um, he's been training with the development squad in the 23s because he's uh, not turned up for training at least three times. But if I was Brendan Rodgers, I know you want money for players and that, and I do get that. But if he was going to, if he wanted to leave, his heart's not going to be in the club. He's not going to be into playing, even if you played him. You might as well just try and get as much as you possibly can within reason, and get him gone, get the money, get the get look for a replacement, try and buy a replacement, and it's it's a massive it's a massive amount off Leicester City's wage books to be able to get a different player in. Um, so, the West for final situation, I think by the time this video goes out, by the game tomorrow against Chelsea, which will be interesting because that is the club where he is going. So, it would be funny to see how um, the Chelsea fans take it and how the, um, how the um, Leicester fans take, his react take the reaction as well. But... Enough of Messi Fafana now, we'll move straight to Iosi Perez. Um, so the uh, so Real Sociedad is in negotiations at the minute with uh, signing Iosi Perez. Um, the striker from Leicester is willing to give up the remaining of his contract um, to go on a free. Uh, but we've that's all we've got at the minute. There's no more information coming out of that apart from he's in he's in discussion with um, Real Sociedad to try and get him there. So he's obviously he's willing to go to, um, what was I going to say, to a uh, thingy. Real Sociedad or around there, he's willing to go because he wants to leave his thing. Um, but just quickly, because I, I did forget to tell you something, whether for Fana, it will if he signs for Chelsea, he will sign a deal, a six-year contract until 2028. Now, considering he's only 21, it is a big step for him. And he, he said from a, he said in one of the things I read that he wanted to play for Chelsea for a while. But I just feel like it's just been a bit disrespectful, really, from um, from Leicester's point of view of how they helped him and that. 
but we'll we'll leave it for now. Um, but move on. Let's have a look ahead to Chelsea. Um, Leicester not winning any one of their four games. We I think the Brentford game we drew. Uh, we lost the Arsenal game. Um, we drew the no, we lost the Southampton game. But the one thing that really got me thinking here was we played Stockport County in the um, Carabao Cup um, second round. Um, and within 90 minutes, a just newly promoted League Two side that came from non-league football just into League Two just recently. Um, and we can't, we can't score a goal past them in 90 minutes. Now, that game, there was 10 international players, whether it was the adult internationals or the unders international um, Ten men, ten men on that pitch couldn't score one goal past Stockport County, which is a bit worrying for a sense that you can't score past a League Two side. Would you be able to score past a Premier League side? But there is two, there is two like um, reasons, well not reasons, two things that they could do. It was like when we played um, Nottingham Forest in the FA Cup. The, the Leicester players went into the game thinking, oh, it's Nottingham Forest. We'll thrash them easier. And then they get their asses kicked. It's like it's it's the, you've got to go in. And I watched the um, I think it was Tram near uh, Tram near Newcastle, and the manager said they go into every game thinking it's their cup final. And if they take some of the mentality out of these League Two sides, League One sides, you'll get a lot further because the mentality of going into a game, whether it's your cup final, gives you a lot more spirit. If you looked at the FA Cup when we won it with Euro Tielemans, yes, it was a wonder goal, but they had the mentality they're in a final. They had the mentality to go and try and win. Now, if they went into the Stockport County game with the mentality of, oh, it's Stockport County, we'll, we'll thrash these easily, and they didn't. It ended up going to Pens, where I think it should have been our number one. Uh, I think it should have been our number one. Uh, Iverson did three world-class saves of the Pens and... Well, for Madison, a midfielder, to miss a penalty and honestly press a sky over the bar, it's it's one of them things, it's a penalty. You expect mishaps from players. But for the keeper um, to save them and then for Brendan Rodgers to... Um, I've listened before, but I always said that I thought Iverson should have been our number one, but not Danny Ward. I just think Iverson's got a lot more ahead of him and he'll have a lot more experience and he'll go further than Danny Ward. It's just one of them things, but Chelsea, they have they have won quite a few of their games, and I think it will be a quite a big test for Leicester. A draw would be a decent result for Chelsea against us. A win would just be out of this world, but I just can't see it happening. It's it's going to be one of two things there. It's going to be either we get thrashed, or we keep them to a certain level. But we, I'm not expecting a win out of Chelsea. I'm really not. Not with like the squad. I know the squad we have got full fit players but there's certain people out of the squad that I think make a difference with the team and how we perform so if we get on to the team obviously it's been set up here from the start of this video um, this is the team that I'd put out with the players that we can that are fit obviously from Stockport County I'd, I'd put Iverson straight in instead of Danny Ward for me personally I just think that uh, Iverson's got a lot more ahead of him he could do a lot more Whereas Danny Ward, he can perform on one days and absolutely be shite the other days. Uh, obviously, we've got no Fafana because we're just not playing him. There's no point playing him. If he wants to leave, let him leave. So I'd put um, Cags and Evans, our captain, in as the um, centre-backs. I think it's a good partnership. People said um, Vestergaard. Vestergaard's all right, but some it's just it, I just don't rate Vestergaard as highly as I would Soyuncu. Some people may disagree, but that's just my opinion. Um, Left-back, I'd put uh, Justin. And right back, I put Castagna, just because I think I think Justin's got a lot more strength and ability than Luke Thomas. Now Luke Thomas is a cracking player; I don't take nothing away from him. But in a game of like Chelsea, where you've got fast attacking and um, just how quick Chelsea can counter, I think just because Thomas haven't, hasn't got the strength to be able to battle against the Chelsea players. And Castagna, I just think is, I think he's just right in that position. I don't think he needs to be changed anywhere. I don't think he needs to be dropped from any. Of, if he played the last game, I can't really remember the team from the last game. I just think he just needs to be in that position. I think that's just he needs to. I think he just needs to be in the uh, 
starting eleven every single game. I think he's just a brilliant player when he can play. He's just he, he played when I've been to see him. He's played some cracking balls up to the top, and defensively, he's just that strong defensively. I've said that now and watch him let a goal in and let it be his fault. But anyway, we go on to the middle. We've not got really that much choice from the middle. Um, I'd put Ndidi is in the central thing. I think just Ndidi is just a all right all round player. Um, Pratt, I think I give him a chance because I think he played well against Stockport County. I, I think he's got a lot of potential within the club if they play him regularly. Um, KDH, I just think um, is oh, I reckon he's going to be like the next. Well, I don't know. He's just he's just one of them players for me. I think he's just um, so. He's been taught from a young age. Or I think it's like it's so well tuned into him. He just knows what he's doing, and to and to be such young of a uh, young at a such age to be able to stand up in front of, I don't know how many fans went to Stockport in front of the Leicester fans, and have the nerve to score the penalty that went took them through. I just think it's, I think it's a lot of nerve and a lot of class by the player. But I think I think he just needs to be in the starting eleven every single game. I think he, I think it's just something that Leicester need. I think he's a player that Leicester need and just couldn't let go. It's like Jamie. It's like I think he'd be like the next Jamie Vardy, but in the midfield. If the Leicester worked at him and let him play it every game, he could get to the potential of Jamie Vardy. Now, before this video actually came to you, I was going to put Madison instead of Tielemans, but just before I was actually going to record this, um, it came out that Madison was un. It was he wasn't be able to play in the squad, so I put um, Tielemans in. It's really the only replacement because we've we've only got like. Um, Mendy, uh, Samare and Albrighton, it's really the only three that we can choose from. If I was going to be picky, I'd probably put Albrighton, I'd swap Pratt for Albrighton, but that's only a must, that's only a maybe. Um, yeah, Tielemans, I think, obviously, he does want to leave. Um, the clubs are looking for him. Um, Arsenal are interested, I think, that was the last thing I heard. But... Obviously, he's still he's still playing for the club. He's still got the passion, as you call it, for the club, um, for playing. But I just think it's it, it's one of them where if he's going to play absolute shit, then just don't play him. Because some games he can play absolute shit and just run back and forth and do nothing, whereas games he's just technical and manages to get round players. But obviously the front, I think Jamie Vardy is getting to the age now where I don't think he can play as such as a one-man striker because when we won the Premier League it used to be long balls over the top of Vardy. Vardy runs onto them and scores. Whereas now Premier League teams know what we're doing. So I think if you put Barnes up with him, now I rate, I rate Barnes as high as possibly can. I just think he's a great player. Um, but them two up front, I think it'd be deadly. Now, you might be saying, why not Iheanacho, why not Dakar? I just think Barnes has got that bit more ability about him. And if you actually watch Dakar, he doesn't actually chase the ball down. So Vardy... If the keeper's got the ball, Vardy will chase the ball. Daka doesn't. He just stands there. Same with Iheanacho. Oh, I think Barnes and Vardy together would be deadly. Um, so that that is my starting eleven. If I was Brendan Rodgers, I think it's. I don't. I think if he drops Iverson from the Stockport County game, I think he's a bit stupid because I just think Iverson's got a lot more potential. I just. I think that he'll play most of the players, but I just. You don't know with Brendan Rodgers. He's just, it's just one of them players, uh, managers. I mean, that's just that unpredictable. It's just unbelievable. But um, as we speak about Brendan Rodgers, if you think about it, it might just be me being a bit weird here. But he's got rid of Schmeichel. Schmeichel's left. Fafana's on the brink of going. He's basically gone. Uh, Madison. We heard about Madison about leaving. We heard about Tiedemann's leaving. Now, why would you sell your best players of the club? To try and get, to try and get, we're not. We're trying to get Champions League football there. We want to get Champions League football. Europa League footballs we want, but it's the end. But why are you getting rid of your top players if you want to do that? But what I thought when speaking, well, when thinking about it, is he's got rid of all. He's getting rid of all these players. Will he then, after getting rid of them players, leave the club and leave the club with no players whatsoever? Um, it's the only thing. Now you may totally disagree with me. It might just be that players want to leave, but that is a way that you could interpret what he's doing. Is he going to get rid of the players to then leave the club and leave the club in absolute dire straits? It's just one of them things we're going to have to wait and see. But um, talking about players and that, um, 
Vardy signed a new deal till 2024, so we've got him, and I think that is the point when he will retire from football. I think it's just his time now to take a step back and think, well, I've won three trophies. Uh, I just think it's go. I think it's time for me to end. It might not be. I think he's got. I think he's got at least another two years in him, but I think that'll be when we have to say goodbye to a club legend, as we say. But so that's really about it from me. Uh, we're going obviously. We've got the sponsors, DJ Milo, a DJ. Uh, he's on Facebook. Obviously, the QR code's on screen when it comes round to popping up. You can also search him on Facebook at DJ Marlow. It says everything on the pop-up as well. I'll put it in the link description in his Facebook page. Um, if you message him and give him the code the City Stand, you get 10% off your final price at the end. Um, so that so how much he charges for you, you get 10% off the final price of your thing. Um, just give him a message on Facebook. Um, it'll go straight to him and he'll get back to you within like minutes of getting it. Uh, he's not one of these people that will leave you on thing. So there's a QR code on the screen right now. Scan the QR code and it'll take you straight to the Facebook page. Uh, or you can obviously search for him on DJ Marlow. Um, so yeah, we've got the new sponsors for the new season. Obviously go follow me on Instagram, DJ underscore Marlow1441. And obviously subscribe on this YouTube channel. Obviously go out, check our, well it's not new anymore, the website that we've done. We've got the new players on there, the new shirts, the new kits, everything. Uh, we've got some new news, obviously. We have a bit, a bit of a bit, bit about on there about Brendan Rodgers. We do need to put about with Fafana on there. It's just that we've literally got in, done, tried to get all this ready and tried to film it before tomorrow because we want to do a look ahead in a new video before we actually went live. Obviously, we've got the new graphics. If you haven't watched the video, like I said at the start, it is on our YouTube channel. It's called The Comeback. or we Let's have a look quickly what it is called. I can't even remember my own video name. I uploaded it about four hours ago. We are back. It's literally just a video showing we're coming back. We've come back out of a year of trying to make sure everything was ready, ready and getting new equipment because some equipment bust. Um, but yeah, we've got new sponsors. Uh, this, the old sponsors, if you've watched one of our videos, Clever Creations, they have. They still sponsor us in a way. It's just that they didn't want to be the main prime sponsor anymore because we had this one come up and we want to give trying people a fair opportunity. So if you don't want to sponsor... If you do want your name to come up on your sponsors because we can do multiple sponsors, uh, please do get in contact with me either on Instagram, um, which is the only possible way really. Or um, yeah, so if you want to get spot, if you want to have your like business or whatever sponsor, um, please do match me on Instagram. We are doing at the minute a um, man of the match thing, so obviously tomorrow you'll see because I'll point it out because it'll be from the Stockport County game. Um, it's basically the best play out of that game goes on. But we are looking when we get more people watching the things and get more people interacting, um, we'll be able to do a um, so a subscribers thing. So every week we'll, you'll be put on a wheel, we'll spin it and we'll see who gets it. Um, so if you do want to be involved in that, message me on Instagram and I'll get your name put into the um, spinner. Um, so yeah, and uh, so Newport County is our next uh, game at home. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get points out of that and get through. Hopefully we can get a point for Chelsea. Um, then we're looking at uh, quite a heavy Premier League fixture list. You've got you've got th um, Chelsea um, tomorrow. We've then got Manchester City. Um, at home we've got Brighton I think we could pick up points against Man U we could pick up points against Brighton um, I'm obviously I'll be going the Aston Villa game so I won't be able to do the live watch along but we'll be doing a review either when I get back or the day after we'll be doing a view, review about that and how I thought the players played because that's what we're going to be doing as well guys hopefully some of the games obviously I won't be able to do it live on here and post it and all that but I will be going to the game and we'll be doing a uh, like match reaction either when I get home depending on the time or the day after posting it if he see how I thought the players played um, but yeah um, so we've got I think we'll pick up oh, it'd be good to pick up points against Chelsea I think we'll pick up a point against Man United I think we'll we'll, we'll definitely pick up points a point between Brighton Aston Villa I think we'll pick up a point Tottenham, it might be a struggle to even pick up a point. 
and then we've got the Derby, Leicester against Nottingham. I really hope we can pick up points because I'm going to that game and I really hope Leicester can win. But yeah, so we're obviously current. I've said we were finishing ages ago, but it's been about five minutes. But you know, you find things to talk about. We're obviously current, currently sitting um, uh, 19th at the Premier League table. Obviously, if we lose tomorrow and West Ham win, they've got Aston Villa, which I think they'll win. We'll go bottom. Um, is it time to look for a new manager or is it not? I'll leave that question with you guys. Is it time for a new manager or do we stay with Brendan Rodgers and see if he can get us out of this situation or if it's just a blip that we're having? So, guys, cheers for watching. Obviously, like and subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram. If you want your name to be entered in the wheel, please message me on Instagram. Um, if you want any DJ needs, anything, anything to do with discos or anything, please either scan the QR code through the video or search on Facebook DJ Marlowe and he will get back to you as soon as possible, guys. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for Chelsea. Cheers, guys.